Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're going to do one of our favorite fun little adventures for the summer in old cars. So in our area there is a annual Ted's auto pic antique auto picnic that's been going for a number of years. Uh, that was started by a local car enthusiast and auctioneer um, and has now been con continued on by our friends at Cabin Fever Auction Company. They host it at a little church. It's like the Wednesday after Father's Day every year and it's basically for a short period of time from like 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. They serve lunch and all kinds of neat stuff shows up. We showed you a video before. We're gonna jump in a couple of the old cars, drive them over there, have a little caravan old cars and uh, hang out in the middle of the week in June in our area. So let's get going. Seems like, yep. Yeah. Not a whole lot of acceleration in their lungs. Nope. Um, it's probably what it, it probably had a nine inch original. Yeah. yeah. I put fuel in this last night. Oh, okay. I just need you to open the glove box because my wallet is still, you need the key. Oh. You have to use the other key to open the glove box. I put it in there. We almost ran out of fuel in this last night. Oh no. <laughs> we were leaving. I'm like, I don't remember when I put fuel in this. Right. We drove all the way to Coventry and it was idling funny, like when we were driving. And then we got the country and put like 14 gallons in or something. Right, in, in, a, in a 13 I, gallon I, tank. Yeah, I think it takes 13 <laughs> gallons. I said to these guys, I said, I think we were on the edge of running out. And I almost passed the wall. I was like, eh, maybe we'll make it to Jamie's. I'm like, no, I better stop. Yeah. We wouldn't have made it probably you were 100 pushing. yards past Jamie's. Right. Passed the wall off. <laughs> Can you see? You're good. You're good. Still good.
So what year is this? 1913. 1913. Now, is this your oldest steamer? I have one older, but it's not anywhere near together. A little cool for that. Hey Carl! You're next! Yeah, it's 
This is a really simple car. Some of the other cars have a few more valves and a few more yeah. things going on. Yeah. It's a simple car. This There's valves bad. everywhere. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Wait, first. What year is your black one that we rode in? The That's a 19. That's a 1919. Yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. So this is, a, this is a cool one. It's fun. It's very nice. Very nice. So next week we're going to New Hampshire and driving it around for about 600 miles. Yeah. I knew the tour was coming up soon. Wow. Yeah, next, next week. Yeah. Should be good. I did my old mm -hmm. panel. I was in. Cool. Huh? Yeah. You can add that to your list of things you got. Yeah. <laughs> I said the trip was worth it only because of this. <laughs> Don't listen. Sorry about the rest of the stuff. Yeah, Matt's gonna get sad to hear that. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. Appreciate yeah, it. No problem. Thank you so much. Happy, happy to do it, guys. Right before the rain, the uh, as it has happened the last couple of years, we've had a great little meet and the rain was coming in kind of right after the meet was supposed to end and everybody kind of darts out of there. We were able to make our little caravan home right before the rain started. Uh, Pete's on his way home now and hopefully, fingers crossed, he beats the rain. Cars did great, really fun little back road drives like we like to do and of course getting to see a bunch of people that we only see like once a year which is really really fun. So definitely if you're in the area keep it on your calendar as I mentioned the uh, Wednesday after Father's Day every year is that event. Um, you can also find it on Facebook under the Cabin Fever Auction Company or Ted's Auto Antique Auto Picnic. So uh, if you can make it out it's a good little secret car meet in our area. So thank you guys for following along. Catch you later.